Locks in the door. Tried to talk us into that he was working with us when that really just wasn't going to go over with really anybody. Um, then decided, you know what? I guess we're going to fight. Fuck you guys. I'm two dragons. <laughs> uh, unfortunately for Senor Two Dragons, um, RNG happened to make Liz level 20. <laughs> and Liz was kicking the shit out of him. And also, no, 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 don't go over there. Bitch, stay over here. <laughs> I want to point out, Liz was more so whittling him down very slowly, but the no, no, no's were definitely accurate. <laughs> Eventually, slaying one of the dragons and having to just do it all over again. We whittled Aether down, and the party was doing okay. Liz was fine. <laughs> um, got him low enough that he was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm out. And I said no. And then I unfortunately had to say, how do you want to do this? <laughs> e, in an attempt to kill three people... Did his dragon breath, and there I stood, amongst the flames, untouched. <laughs> because rogues are stupid! Well, many classes have stupid things. You're fine there. <laughs> yeah. Took off into the air, and caught an arrow in the throat. Plummeting back down to Earth to die. Then, after... <clears throat> Respecting his body, um, a symbol of Bahamut said, You know what? You're dead. I don't like you. And now is on my body. So that's something. I grabbed the party and we yeeted off back to the town that I can't remember the name of. Arkington. Arkington. And that's where we left off. You're at the gates of the castle of Arkington. A guard was looking at you stupefied and another guard was, like, running towards... What might or might not look like uh, the, basically the guard tower shouting, uh, looking towards the top of it, and uh, luckily the stupefied guard recognizes you and goes, wait! Hold on! I know this party! That's the Zoroji and Xavier! You're back! And uh, in a very incredulous running guard stops slowly and looks back and then slowly walks back himself a bit embarrassed at the situation now. Embarrassed, but understandable. What's the vertigo like with these uh, this wing travel speed that seemingly teleported me across what the What do you country? want it to be like? Hey, you you literally... I would, <laughs> I would love to have perfect like, nothing's wrong with me, everything's cool, it just happens. <laughs> I feel like this Some powerful contents, tool. They've shifted <laughs> in flight. <laughs> I'd like them to remain inside of me, actually. <laughs> uh, well, because you brought it up, you, Xavier, specifically give me a constitution save. <laughs> Alright. Roll, 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 roll. Uh, that, yeah, it's like, please not one, please not one, please not one. Ooh, I also can't wait. see your roll right now, because Pedantic DM 11. is still not loading for me. It didn't connect to things yet anyway. I got an 11. 11 not is... It is actually enough to save yourself from uh, yuking outright, but you do feel a little queasy. 
Looks a little green. I can show you the world. <laughs> Faster than the speed of sound. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, it's, there it was. Would you like to see it again? <laughs> you gotta wait a day. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Don't we need to uh, report this now? Oh yeah, we we have a uh, dead aether body with us. We <clears throat> have a conversation. I mean, it was like thirty seconds ago. Rapidly decomposing. Shiroji, stop setting him on fire. <laughs> he started it. <laughs> he didn't start the fire. I don't know who started it, but it's ended. I can't get the pedantic DM at all. I, I'm assuming that's the boundary bit. Or... Yeah, it's the IP. I can't get to the the link at all. I can't oh. connect to the game. I can't, like, going to Potentic DM specifically, I can't even get to the site. Going to the IP address, I can get to the site, but I can't log into the game then. Uh, e, can you restart Foundry? Will that do anything? Probably not, but I can try. Eh. Enter technical difficulties music. Right. <laughs> uh, I should actually be able to bring up the D&D Beyond campaign and be able to see your roles on there at least, as long as you have roles actively visible. I think everyone does. View campaign. Okay, for some reason I see all of Xavier's and nobody else's. Oh, there's Liz roll. Oh yeah, there's a lot of Xavier rolls. There's Gotta scroll a up a lot, lot to see a Liz roll. <laughs> hey, there's whoa, Liz. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, did I, what have I been rolling? Uh, uh, the most damage. recent was obviously the Constitution save. Oh, you had your turn right before mine. And you you swung a lot. That's why. <laughs> oh, like, is, are you guys talking about the game log? Or are you talking about something yeah, else? Yeah, game log. Oh yeah, I can only see mine in the game log. Wait a minute, what the fuck? No, no, no. no scroll, no, no. scroll up. It <laughs> the there's other there. rolls. <laughs> oh, there they are. Yeah. <laughs> what? Did, uh, well, I guess I was the shining star for the thirtieth. What custom roll did I roll on the seventh? Do I have to do this through through the encounter? How do I do this? Uh, to see the the rolls. No, I can see their rolls just fine. Oh. I can't do rolls through it. Okay, there's the there's that. Oh. I do uh... have to do it through encounter. Weird. Uh, manage characters. Ignore the level twenty Liz. Hello. Buttons work, please. No? Hello. Uh, refresh. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your excuse. <clears throat> I have deemed it thus. Nice. You may leave the table. Well, that's kind of an important factor. <laughs> Good game. Yep. <laughs> uh. I guess I, uh, where's my dice thing at? What'd I do with that? Hello? Oh, I know where it is. It's under here. Eh. Nope. Never mind. Not under there. It is not there. Not there. I lost it. Dice tray, where are you? Is it in here? Yeah, no. Everybody there are blankets be, in there. Everybody's probably going to get kicked out of Foundry because I just restarted it. I already was. <laughs> I was never in it to begin with. Well, that sounds bad. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. 
Okay. Would have would have been faster if I remembered to put the monitor on the right right input. Oh, that's right. Isn't it on like a Raspberry Pi or something? I've got it on a, one of those mini PC things. <laughs> okay. Like one of those cheap two hundred dollar ones. Like a Nook. Yeah. Is that okay? Like a, a cheaper version of a Nook. Oh. Four characters of level nine. There we go. Now I know exactly what can kill you guys, except for the level twenty. Level. Probably oh, liches. Level nine. I thought we were level eight. <laughs> We were, I and then we killed Aether. We up. <clears throat> Hopefully you've done your prep. But I still need to sleep. We all do. My body hurts. Wait, there's no I sleeping mean... yet. You you gotta go see see the the Archmages. Then what are we waiting for? Here, have this guy. Wait, Same. what? No, you can't. Might... No, no. I'm no, guessing the Archmages <laughs> might want to see we, we might want to see that. We should no, no, no. know the, what happened. Let's, the let's guard know. has to carry him. I can carry uh, him. Aether's, Aether's head this whole time being passed between everyone is just getting sloshed around so very easily. As it's just kind of a leaking mess of holes and broken neck at this point. It's basically the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> Ooh. Except there's a crack in that jar. <laughs> Plenty of cracks. It was stabbed through a few times too. Right, that's what I got. <laughs> okay. More uh, movement speed. Up. Yes, that's what you need. <laughs> yes, now all I need is mobility feet. Your feet seem pretty mobile already. Yes, but more mobility. <clears throat> Pedantic DM still doesn't work, it seems like. What is going on, man? Join as the game master. Win session. Are you gonna load anything else? Or are you just gonna be a blank, blank canvas here? It'll load something else soon, ish. I mean, I gave it five minutes last time, and it didn't load shit. <laughs> <coughs> Is your server having issues? It came up for me. Is it not coming up for anybody else? It hasn't Mine's me working out. on it. Uh, by I refreshed to loading. see if it was working. Uh, no. uh, mine has loaded up. It'll get there. I will do a hard refresh. <clears throat> Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. You good? Yeah. Mm, mine's loading. Death comes to us all eventually. This is as far as mine gets. You should probably wait a while because you have a child now. Yeah, but you just gotta sit there and wait. It'll the mine only gets that far. Eventually. <laughs> Different browser, maybe? What browser are you using? I'm using Chrome. I'm also using Chrome. Hey, but all right, I've, I've connected. I've ran into very weird issues before, specifically with Chrome. Hmm. That's not the right thing. I have to use Chrome because I don't have the add-on for the shit installed anywhere else for uh, the dice. Yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> I'm just too lazy to do it. It's not that I can't. I'm just. I already have it on this one. It might as well. Yeah, yeah, and so I can make fireballs, so I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you got your priorities straight. <laughs> Literally the only priority he cares about. Hey man, man. some people do stuff other than fireball. Like, level 4 fireball. <laughs> That's still you fireball. You are really it's... taking the whole wizard is defined by fireball to extremes here. <laughs> I didn't go evocation wizard though. Well, no, you went divination wizard because the things were more broken on it. I think it's just more fun. <laughs> things are more broken on it. It gives him ever so slightly you... more control. 
Ever he basically so a divination wizard because he wanted to be the the, the real DM every now and then. <laughs> like this is what happens. <laughs> that that is why he went divination wizard. <laughs> All he needed to do now was take the lucky feet and be a halfling, and he would have been the DM. <laughs> <clears throat> Having a yeah, halfling like for a brother would have been strange because I don't look down on my brother that often. <clears throat> I think you look uh, down on me often enough for all my shenanigans. You're also probably still short compared, comparatively. <clears throat> I can't remember how I can never remember how tall are any of my characters' characteristics other than uh, some generic stuff. How tall is my character? Taller than oh, me in real life. That's a low bar for me. I know. Features. Not tall my extras. Notes. I thought that's the orgies. It says orgs for organizations. Orgy orgs? An orc uh, orgy? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Five foot seven. That is my height in real life. I am six two. Uh, in game, not in real life. In real life, I'm like five ten. Jordies. Yes. Genetics. I, I mean, you've seen me. You know that I'm short. Like I went <laughs> to the place, and all of you just towered above me. Jordies. <laughs> Good time. <laughs> Kill Kenny was amazing. You can always come back for more. Just amazing. <clears throat> I can't eat there anymore, but I can still have Thai Village. Did you get kicked out of Kill Kenny's? They don't have any vegan options. Ah, That's unfortunate. <clears throat> All right, so. Uh, the guard who very apprehensively like moved away from the body being tossed his his way to carry uh, instead takes the lead and starts leading you into the castle grounds and then through the doors of the Arkenton Castle to a much familiar site to basically all of you at this point. You've seen this place in action before. All of the rooms in this main hallway uh, open up almost seemingly at random. Uh, gravity seems to defy all reason here it has no place when you're when you can literally just walk to a wall and then start walking on the wall same with the ceiling and uh the guard says uh so we weren't actually expecting you right now so we're gonna see if we can get a a meeting set up sometime soon uh feel free to rest uh you and you i, I there we'll prepare a guest room for you momentarily okay Pointing to Fen and Liz. <sighs> okay. All right. Then I will be back. Please don't make sure. Please, please make sure that none of the blood gushes on the floor too much. Make it a little bit. <laughs> Gonna press to digitation the blood away. Oh. No fun. <laughs> uh and the spell spell knight walks away uh up a wall towards some randomness and disappears through a portal. What would you guys like to do? Sleep. I'm gonna go get my dinner. <clears throat> Then I'll need ten hours. Did you say ten hours? Yeah, level five spells take ten hours to copy down. Mm. So you need to sleep for eight hours and then have another ten hours to do what you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be out of commission for a while. <laughs> It'd be a damn shame if uh, Nina interrupts that. Well, guess she's gonna have to wait. 
<laughs> or will she? Totally just power word stuns the Roji and drags him along with telekinesis. <laughs> Not if I counterspell it. <laughs> she, uh, and I don't <laughs> think you can. Can you though? What was power word stun? Like level six or seven or something? You can still try to counterspell it. I think it just gets harder, doesn't it? It is eighth level. Oh, okay. So what would she have to roll? I think it'd be very easy for her to overcome my power spell then, unless I count cast it at a higher level. I think you have to beat her roll, or her something or other. Power word stun doesn't something. have a roll. It's just if Zoroji's HP is under a uh, certain limit, he's stunned. The counter spell rules I'm referring to. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> ability check. So Roji would have to roll and overcome. Ten plus. In plus the spell's level. So eight. I'd have to get eighteen DC. Ability check using my spell cast ability. So I'd need to roll an eight. Or higher. So yes, I can counter spell her. Once. Uh, twice. Unfortunately, it would probably be successful on the first one anyways. Saying that she doesn't have counterspell herself. <laughs> I counterspell your counterspell. It's a reaction it's possible to do. <laughs> yes, yes, I've done it. I've been there. <clears throat> Did when I need the... someone else to counterspell her counterspell. Well, you're out of luck on that one, unfortunately. <laughs> you're the yeah. only one <laughs> that probably would. If I just walk over and stab Zoroji with poison. Actually, even if I had <laughs> counter spell, smell. I'm assuming there are so many situations where I just wouldn't care to prevent it from happening to you in this. For this, I would just <laughs> let you get stunned. I'm pretty sure in this instance, we would all just let it happen. <clears throat> <laughs> I also am not too keen on what I'm hearing is Zoroji's wants are not the party's wants at the moment. Zoroji <laughs> needs sleep. His body aches. Sleep is fine. The extra ten yeah. hours afterwards, probably not. <laughs> Mind me, did the prison cell that I was in whenever I first got here have a bed? Oh, the what now? <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> you were in a what? I was in a cell. Whenever I first got with the party, because I was technically <laughs> trespassing. I don't recall this information. Didn't, had didn't like you a... go to some some person's room to bang him? <laughs> That's how I got the invitation. <laughs> when I didn't show up, she got a little bit happy. You went back, I think. Yeah, I thought Eventually, but I did get escorted to a prison cell beforehand it had very sparse accommodations you had you had like your bucket for piss and shit and you had your uh uh basically a box of a, a box of a box made of wood with hay in it and that's about it right cool do i remember where that is <laughs> uh as you are attempting to remember it a uh, Paige comes up to you, Liz and Fen, and says, I can direct you to your rooms now. Okay. Good. Okay, John. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't need Liz, much. I just need a place to sleep. <laughs> yours is covered very quickly as you are basically taken right to the left of the entryway and uh, you don't even go up the, up the wall at all you, t you get taken right to the left of the entryway and then right behind where the door is open uh, a portal instead opens and then you are directed through to a guest bedroom <laughs> Fen, yours uh, it takes you all the way to the to the back of the entryway and to the ceiling before a portal finally opens up for your room <laughs> that's fine <clears throat> I'm and then, sleep. Uh, you can uh, Xavier and Zoroji 
another couple pages actually comes by one of them co basically constantly casting prestidigitation to make sure the blood is staying away and the other one relieves Xavier of the body uh, and basically puts it on a floating disc and floats the body away through another portal and then Xavier and Zeroji, you two are welcome to go to your rooms as well. <clears throat> Floating disc seems real convenient after having had to carry it the whole way. Tensor's floating disc? <laughs> Lots of mages get it. <laughs> when they're only doing menial tasks around the, around home. <clears throat> so the blood would probably just slowly pool and then pour off of it. Neat. Well, that's what the other page is for. Still press the digitating and then it. Yeah, I was. I just always imagined the floating disc as being slightly um concave, so as to have, <laughs> like, be able to hold things better. But it seems to just be a flat plane. It is a flat plane specifically. Uh, I would allow that you could definitely shape it into a slight bowl or, uh, otherwise. But otherwise, otherwise, for the most part, it is a flat plane because people generally stand on it and float through that method. So they just become... Uh, who does that Krillin go through? Someone does that. <laughs> Stands on a floating disc? I think so, unless I'm just thinking about Krillin's disc attack, which is definitely possible. Krillin throws a disc though. for sure. Yes. Goku <laughs> rides a cloud. It's got decent Correct. utility, and it's a ritual. I'll mark that down for looking for a scroll so I can add it to my scroll book later. It's it's very niche, but it's one of those that it's it's just really nice to have whenever you need it. Yeah, it, I would take it just because it's a ritual, so I don't actually have to have it prepared. I can just be like, yep, yep we're going to tensor floating disc Xavier across the river while I fly in front of him. So you figured out the river conundrum how many month how many weeks or months later? <laughs> <laughs> My horse was there. It's all good. <laughs> <clears throat> uh and with that if you guys aren't doing any anything else for the night, it is still pretty early in the day. Like it's literally just afternoon. But if you guys are wanting to rest, you can take a long rest, and we can shoot f to the next day. I would like yeah. a long rest, yes. Yeah, I think I think, I think it's probably day, pretty uh, good. Liz would just uh, work on maintenance for her arm and her armor and stuff, since there's time. Yeah, that's easily done. Uh, were you doing anything specific with your maintenance? Or are you just saying that for RP purposes? Just for RP purposes. Yeah. Then, Luckily, nobody around seems to interrupt you during your, your constant tinking throughout the day. Uh, not that it's an unfamiliar sound to the to the castle, but just the fact that it doesn't really permeate outside of your room even though you do have a window that you can look out of as well that is open. <clears throat> Fen, are you trancing immediately, or what are you doing? I know better than the steel stuff from here. <laughs> so... <clears throat> I would probably stay up a bit and then trance to try and match kind of everybody else's uh, sleep schedule. Gotcha. And then Xavier and Zoroji, are you two doing anything in particular or... or no? I need 10 hours to do something in particular. <laughs> I don't have anything particular to do, no. Would Zoroji have the focus to do that 10-hour project today? I hope so. <laughs> and does it need Xavier's skin in order to do so as well? 
Uh, he's my backup, so I would do my spellbook first and then spend time transferring it to him, which is less time. Well, then luckily for you, it wasn't late in the day when you offed Aether anyways and Neil, and uh, the, the, the travel was still pretty instantaneous. As I said, it's still basically noon. Excellent. <clears throat> I'm going to copy my spell down and then knock out for the night. Add spells, Cone of Cold. Nina Power Word stuns you just because she can. I uh, counterspell <laughs> that bitch. Counter, counterspell. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not sure what you expected. And... I don't know, man. I kid. She I did not come visit this. you to just to Power Word stun you. Okay, <laughs> spells. Unprepared. Oh, and also summon my uh, familiar at some point because that only takes 10 minutes. Can also be done. Always good to have my buddy back. All right, uh, and with that, with the fight with Aether finally uh, wrapped up, and everyone except for Liz being pretty much the worst for wear, uh, you all conk out at your individual times, and Fen by far is the first to wake up again anyways, because Fen trances instead of conking out. Yay, elf things. <laughs> Which means, Fen, you have, on top of the already uh, vast amount of time with that day, you have another four hours before you know anyone else will even bother to be awake. <laughs> uh, I got money. No I want money, to go buy no problems. Some, I want to go buy some potions. <laughs> All right. Some normal fucking potions. <clears throat> that can uh, be easily done. Arkenton is definitely big enough and has a couple market districts that will that will have the shops that you require for this. Uh, and it seems like for the closest one in proximity to where you are, it only ta they they carry in stock about five normal healing potions. Where did I put? There it is. Uh, but what about a discount? Because I'm a repeat customer. <laughs> They offer you the discount. Uh, 23 persuasion. <clears throat> that is definitely a high-ass persuasion. How dare you use my own thing against me. I kid. <laughs> um... If you want to, you can also try and sell this spell book that we've got. So you are you basically you talk a smooth enough game to where you can get all five potions for fifty gold instead of uh, the forty per. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. Are you yep. just like literally stealing from them? I don't understand. No. I'm a repeat customer. You you know, I'm going to come back and buy more potions. So I'm just going to take your stock. That's boom. Off your hands. <laughs> and I'm really good at persuading them to do that. <clears throat> uh, and those are just normals, right? Yeah, just normal potions of okay. healing. Uh, they do also bring out uh, two greater potions of healing that they offer you at a... a whopping 75 gold each. Uh, sorry, what kind of heal? What? The greater... Potions of greater healing. 75 each. 
Those are usually 150, aren't they? No. <laughs> Oh, are those 200 a pop? No. More. Oh. Yeah, I'll take both of them. <laughs> uh, 150. Man, I'm still rich. Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Well, that's all I want to do there. Good, good. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think that's all I do. I don't really have anything else that I need to do. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and with that, you return to the castle. You aren't impeded at all by that. Uh, you also don't catch sight of that last that was basically obsessed with you before. That's good. <clears throat> and... You kind of sneak your way back to your to your room uh, with a with about an hour to spare. Although the hour goes by with nothing eventful happening, and the rest of everyone else wakes up, Zeroji uh, knowing a new spell now on top of having his fiend owl back, and just you know being able to cast fireball at a higher level. I think right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fireball feels stronger mm. than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Xavier uh, and Zeroji, you two meet up pretty quickly since your rooms are near each other anyways. And then Liz and Fen, you two meet up after the the long walk basically to the middle of the entryway. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, while you don't see the soldier that basically went to go deliver the news uh you do see a page that comes up to all four of you and says uh archmage nina will see you now okay right on <clears throat> all right and you follow the page through what are the actual doors to the back of the entryway to proceed further into the castle uh and Fen, you notice this pretty quickly as you're one to, to route things as it is. But as you are being led through the castle, you very quickly notice that this is a different path than before to get to Archmage Nina's office. On top of the fact that uh, you're pretty sure there is some spellbound effect that is changing the pathways as you are walking down them. That checks out. Also why I don't plan on stealing stuff from here. <laughs> I've been running After... for 30 minutes trying to get out what the fuck after a bit of meandering Fen you think you might uh, be able to piece together how to work out how to travel through this place but it's not going to be easy at all if you ever did attempt something like, like theft but just navigating it alone might possibly be possible now doubling up on the words for you specifically. <clears throat> As your background of thievery and your you know, your actual I think it do you have a criminal background? Uh it's I think it's street urchin. Alright, yeah. Uh as that background is starting to kinda show its its uh knowledge here as you're starting to get the gist of it, the more meandering that this page has you guys do to reach the office. Which you do finally reach and the doors are opened uh, behind an ornate desk that's the Avariel Archmage Nina with her sister sitting to the side of the desk, both of them looking at you uh, at your party. <clears throat> and at the center of the empty desk, 
appears to be a chest. And Archmage Nino says, First! Congratulations are in order! How you guys been? It's been a while. We've uh been a bit busy. Yeah, I saw. Uh, Much better now that we got a rest. <clears throat> Who stopped a bunch of holes in, in his head? Uh, he fell from a very great height. We 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 had a we looked him over. No, someone definitely stabbed some holes in his head. It was a very aggressive combat. This was post mortem. He was already dead. <laughs> well, I, I don't I don't know. I just have a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> those were those were too small to be a dagger hole. Uh, I'm just messing with the guys anyways. I don't really care about that part. I'm glad to know that he was taken care of. A bit sad that he wasn't taken alive, so I hope that you were able to get some information out of him before this happened. He was working for... Checks uh, notes. t Poo of the Brood? We've never I... heard of a Tipu, though. Uh, you see... <laughs> Nina's... I don't think we've talked to them about that group before. <laughs> no. You see Archmage Nina's forehead wrinkle a bit in thought, and she says, Tipu of the Brood? That's... He said that that's, that's not the knowledge. leader of the Brood. Wait, if she can understand brood, then that means she knows stuff. Because otherwise it just comes out as garbled, I thought. <clears throat> I can't remember. Uh, and you you hear Mina off uh, at her chair going, You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and... Nina gives a little chuckle herself and she goes, <laughs> well, this is something. Did So did Aether say that he worked for this Tipo? Yes. That's he was, what he said. He was under the impression that he was working for a Tipo. Okay. Did he give any other details? checks notes unfortunately i believe uh, things got more aggressive before we were able to get any more information from him pulls he was, up Vaughn. he was trying to recruit <laughs> us to work for for tipo and then he became two dragons all right i feel before i pursue any more questioning with this your reward is in order in this chest is, well, basically your reward. But to activate it, you will need to envision an element or even a substance that you do not want to be hurt by. Fire. Fire. Piercing. Fire is a good choice. If I can do piercing. Lizzie says fire and she looks at Zeroji. I I see most of you are afraid of someone in your own group. Uh, hey, I haven't hit any of you with a fireball to this. Every everybody game. except for Zeroji says fire and looks at Zeroji. She summons a ball of fire within her own hand as well, and she says, as a bit of a pyromaniac myself, I can actually kind of relate to you, Zeroji. I don't know what they're on about. I haven't hit any of them at any point with any of my spells. Yet. 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 It's not an accident. Yet. See, now I know I know this, this song and dance because, you know, I've had my own adventuring party. You will inevitably hit them with your spell. This will just make it less punishing. However, I did not expect them to be so afraid of you doing that right now. <laughs> and she gives a genuine laugh me at that. Is that. I would like him to have the option of not being hesitant with it if it comes down to it being necessary. If that's just me, I think everyone else is worried. <clears throat> Anyways, 
Uh, so Xavier, the two dragons played a part in that. Yeah, at least two. <laughs> it's not the only two that we've seen. Fair enough. I'm unsure of the dragons that you fought. Uh, I actually don't know what happened with that fight, but we'll go over that after the, after this. You do have Aether. You brought Aether back to us. So Xavier, come up and open the chest. I will walk <clears> forward. <throat> And open the chest. Thinking about the resistance to fire as you open the chest, uh, you see a shimmer with a bright red uh, shockwave. Basically, it's not an actual shockwave, just like a bright red pulse shimmers out from the chest as you open it, and inside is a tome. <clears throat> just one singular tome sat atop a very velvety, plush uh, in interior to this treasure chest. Interesting. Take the tome, as long as you uh, basically read its contents and make sure that you commit them to memory, you will gain resistance to fire, as the magical incantation within the tome will take its work. I will grab the tome. <laughs> Next, we'll say Liz. And going down the line, the same process happens with all of you. Uh, Zoroji, uh, the only difference being your shimmer appears to be silvery, uh, almost metallic looking. And uh, your book is more of a metallic looking color itself too when you pull out your book. That is really the only difference. Neat. <clears throat> now to fashion some blunt tip arrows for reasons. <laughs> reasons. Are you like the Batman to this party? Batman? <laughs> no. No. Maybe. Batman doesn't kill. <laughs> there are versions of Batman that kill. There are versions of Batman that use guns. <clears throat> but that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> could help make the blunt tip arrows. It actually would be good to have some, because then I can do non-lethal damage. <laughs> From a safe distance. Oh yeah, real fucking far away. So, after you all open up the chests and gain your books, uh, you hear Mina state to Nina, and she basically goes, So are you ready to potentially lose some allies? Nina chuckles a little bit at that and goes, <laughs> I guess we'll see where the dice fall here, right? Uh, probably perking up most of your attention saying that. A little bit. What, what are you talking about? Uh, well, first, let's go over some history with me. Uh, as you know, I had already brought up my past adventuring party, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you see her kind of fiddling, twiddling her fingers as she's talking right now, uh, a bit nervous to say what she's going on with. It just so happens that... A certain member of the brood was a part of my adventuring party. It was not Tipo, but the member of the brood that was a part of my adventuring party treated Tipo like his brother. She's like visibly looking at you guys trying to find any shock or anything on your faces. I'm just continuing to listen. I was taking a drink. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and then she continues from there. Uh, and it just so happens that that member of the brood goes by the name of Ryu. Mm. You. We have that name has interacted with us. Yes. 
Um, Control F for you. It'd be great if my notes were in order by session. Isn't are they not? My they are, are not. Because my notes have fallen off after the past while. <laughs> uh, for you, like, controls the astral plane. Over for you there. wants uh, astral plane. Okay. Ryu wants gods back so he can sleep. Uh, down. Ryu controls the astral plane. Someone who ancient goddess blue currently stuck in human form. I can never I tell with Kit's notes if they're going to be accurate or not to what my lore actually is. <laughs> so, we learn from... <laughs> I'm going to not be able to pronounce these names. <clears throat> Ojin, that he is in line with Ryu, who works with Legion's party. And Ojin, if I remember correctly, I need to redo this more. Is he the one that stopped time and talked to us? Might be along the same lines there, yes. <clears throat> oh, Yotad's dead. <laughs> oh, God. There's notes near the bottom. Do I just not have notes for this? God, I am awful at taking notes. <laughs> So, on the session where the time stopped, uh, Ryu and Ojin want the gods to come back into power so that Brood can return to rest, and then I have a period, and then whereas, and then it stops. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know what else I was going to say. I just don't have notes from that time stop session. Yeah, the, yeah cause the other one I've got was Falu, and that Falu wants to keep the uh have <clears throat> over keep playing gods and I say Falu is like the other faction basically. Yeah. As you are talking amongst yourselves, recalling any of the details that you know over you, uh Nina perks up when you recall enough of it and she says Uh well I can tell you the reason why Ryu wants the gods to come back. And it's a bit greedy, and it might have to do with me. Is she the... hang on. Do I have notes on this? No. Is she part of the brood? <laughs> Ancient goddess currently stuck in human form? No. No, okay. That is well, blue. Uh, you are correct that that is blue, but that is not uh, who Nina is. Okay. <clears throat> why is that? Uh, well, while the gods coming back is overall a good thing for the world, I feel Ryu's reason is a bit greedy with that, because if the gods come back and he goes asleep, he can send his essence of the brood uh, into the sleep and reincarnate himself as a being that can be with me. Mmm. Ryu wants... To bang. I knew that was going to be your yeah. note, and I hate it. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know what else. Well, he is rude. Finn just Therefore, quietly chuckles to himself. He wants to bring back God so that he can die and fuck. <laughs> this is why I don't like Kit's notes. <laughs> Not wrong, but. It's supposed to be like a very sweet moment, though, and then we have Kit. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> if uh, if Saroji is is saying that out loud as he's like right. Oh no, time. I am absolutely not. Saroji's got more class than that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but Saroji does. Saroji <laughs> has class. Come on. Uh. Regardless of the reasons why, I support him in his reasoning for bringing the gods back. Uh, as as wishful thinking as it might be that he might be able to reincarnate. So, so regardless of that, I do throw my support behind Ryu and his dealings. I 
can say I was not aware that Tipo as well is a member of the Brood, so if that is factual information, that does change quite a few things. We have no confirmation that Tipo is part of the Brood, just that Aether thinks he was working for someone named Tipo. Uh, so then this does throw another wrench into the works, though. There are two factions of the Brood, and the one controlled by Falu uh, is already accounting for the other faction. So if Tipo is a rogue agent among the Brood, that warrants investigation by a fair many people that actually know the Brood exist. Apparently that number is much larger than I thought it was for this, this exact moment. Not so secret organization. <laughs> uh, how, how many did you think knew the Brood existed or didn't exist? Well, uh, the four of us, uh -huh. Cal one extra person named Callie, uh -huh. And then Aether. Uh-huh. Well, and there was that other party that we were told about. But I don't think we've met them yet. I don't know how many there are in the party or anything like that. <clears throat> well, to be fair, the reason why I know of the Brood is because Ryu hasn't awakened to his Brood powers until 100 year 101 years ago. Uh, and his awakening is actually what set off the spark for Faolu's own, uh, uh, basically, resurrection, so to speak. And then the rest of the brood followed in quick and short order from there. It's then been basically a recruitment war between the two, as uh, we have our own very, very own brood war going on almost. Uh, it hasn't escalated to that, because if the brood decide to go to war, then that basically destroys all planes of existence. Yeah, luckily so, both factions are just trying to use us for their own gain. Yes, Faolu and Ryu are definitely using, not necessarily worshippers, so to speak, but more so just like followers or people willing to take up their banners. So, that does beg the question, or at least I kind of already see the answer, based on the direction of your knowledge of the Brood, that you are on Faolu's side as of now, correct? I don't know if we've landed on a side. We've just been trying to catch Aether. But if I'm not mistaken, your primary goal was probably given to you by Faolu? Uh, if I remember correctly, he our was our first goal, prong yes. of contact, yes. And then there was a period of year that took only a few minutes. What? Yeah, that did happen, didn't it? Shit's crazy, uh, man. We had a short conversation with Ryu while we were in Larwell uh, searching for Aether. And that short conversation turned into a, <laughs> us having been pushed forward a year uh, before we were ready, before we were aware of it. Which is partly why we've been gone for as long as we have been. Oh, right. Right. I can th this is me. This is not this is not Finn. I completely forgot that like that whole time skip happened without anybody else really knowing. <laughs> well for everyone yeah. else it wasn't a time skip, it just happened. Yeah, no, like a year <laughs> of time went by for them. I didn't think about the fact that that, that straight up happened and we've just been gone for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Roughly a year. Uh, <laughs> a year and a month, probably. Uh, uh, you know, I just thought you guys were doing uh, on your merry way hunting Aether through whatever channels you could, but that's not the channel we expected. News. But we got there. This is definitely some news. You've been stuck in Larwell for a year. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, mm hmm. Huh. That is that is surprising. I was aware that a brood can control time. Obviously that they, they've got the powers to be able to do so, but still that's just Wow. We were not ready for that, yeah. It was It was a surprise, that's for sure. 
And did you happen to get the name of that brood? Oh, it was Ryu. Yeah, I think I mentioned that. I think that's what I started with. No. I think that was another... Ryu's never exhibited the power to stop time unless he was... Oh, Ojin, sorry. Conversation was with Ojin. Odin? Ojin. Oh, is it Odin? Because it's O-J-I-N. I, I thought it was... I have O-D-J-N. Did I, am I missing a D in three separate I mean, slots? I am like only 30% sure I have any of these names spelled right. <laughs> so it's more likely that you're right. I mean, I, mean, I could be wrong. Do both have of you now. have J's? They're pretty close. I yeah. don't have that note, so... Save the cat boy. <laughs> well, I can save you guys some trouble. Uh, Xavier, you are correct. It is Ojin. Okay. Ojin. How do you spell that? O J I N is how I have it down. O J I N. D J I N. The D is silent. Uh, and he is the one that controls the aspect of time in that sense, but it's a bit confusing that he would use it for you guys to spend a year in Larwell. Well, Did he that's say not why? All he does. <laughs> He, uh, no, it, I didn't even know it was happening until after our initial conversation was over. I've got memories I didn't even know I had. <laughs> he must have had some reasoning for that. Did I you mean, figure out everything you needed to in Larwellen as well? Uh, if you mean, did we get all the information we needed about Aether and Larwellen, then yes. Well... Kind yes, of there's that. The but... vampire there, but that's not our problem. Oh, he, the magistrate. He also seemed to be kind of a cool guy. What? Well, well, I say cool guy. He seemed to be on not naturally the, hostile to everybody. The better side him. of things, yeah. The, yeah. He seemed to be oh, yeah. actually trying to help the town, so we didn't try and kill him. We he are technically him. on good terms with the magistrate. That is good information. We are also on, I think, good terms, terms with the magistrate. Well, we did uh, explode some kind of giant metal box no, into his house. No, we so, did not. Liz did. Liz is we. I, I know you probably don't want to accept that fact, but Liz is part of the we. It has been a week. Yeah. Actually, I don't even think it's been a week. I think we've been here for, like... I mean, with travel time, I think it's been a week. It, it, like, three days? Or, uh, or, no. This is on day four of her level 20. Yeah, because from... You guys keep uh, fast traveling to different places. It from does keep Lowell happening. to Riffel was almost in instantaneous. It was very quick. Uh, and then from Yield back to Arkington was instantaneous. Yeah, you really caused a shock for our guards out there when a golden street just landed right in front of them, and then it happened to be you four, plus a corpse. Given that this corpse had been doing this all near uh, Endress, it seems to be that this is the first time you guys have been surprised uh, by it, unless you were expecting someone else. No, no. If we I see a golden told... streak that has been reported to be Aether before, wouldn't you expect it to be an enemy at first? That's true. I didn't know what kind of shocked it was, if we thought it was an enemy or if they thought. But at the same time, surprised. when that golden streak... All right, let's put it this way. Let's say Z Zeroji casted his fireball, and it hit basically with enough room to spare literally inches from your nose. <laughs> I expect that kind that of surprise. Soon. That kind of surprise is what a golden streak would have happened to those guards. I've, Understandable. I've experienced and that firsthand, and I that that is valid. I mean, that one's pretty regular now. You guys should be used to that. No, there's no should be used to. <laughs> I haven't hit you. Yet. I can control my spells. So far. Uh, my mic is picking up little chomps here and there of me eating dinner. I don't mind. I 
out of out of the consuming food sounds that I've heard of of late, is of the best. Because, God, some people just don't have mic etiquette among some of my friends. <laughs> I and, it's, and it's <laughs> like, I please, talk. for the love of God, stop doing what you're doing. Uh, I'd definitely mute if I didn't have to actively talk so much right now. No, I <laughs> actively you're chew good, into the mic to bother people. Yours oh, yeah, that part. It's not that bad in terms of, like, what it sounds <laughs> like. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, it's it's been a week, basically. It's been a hell of a week. Uh... Apparently we, the week that's been a year. Yeah. We, we do have memories of the year, but it's felt choc- like a week. Yeah, yeah. We also need to get our chocobos at some point. Choco what's? The giant chickens. Yeah, I don't think that means anything aware. to her. <laughs> the, huh. it, a, a horse-sized chicken that is basically a different kind of horse. Transportation. Both... Both uh, the girls look at each other and then look at you guys with confused looks on their faces. They have no clue what the fuck a chocobo is. Does anybody have minor illusion? Nope. I could try and draw it. I mean, we're <laughs> going to go get them. I think it's fine. Yeah. Uh... I mean, the description counts them as a bit of a weird species, but I'll go with it. It's fine by me. Oh, and the magistrate bought the device. What device did he buy? The, well, uh, who did he, he buy it from? He I'm traded. Completely... He traded the sword. Uh huh. For the remote. Okay. Um, uh, Beniaro from what with Biniaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biniaro was the other party. The oh, remote. Ex- oh no. Opens. Different dimensional portals. That's, That's where the, where the metal the, box came the from. The metal box that Liz then exploded came from. Uh, but that was dropped on a dragon. Not a is... dragon, a different dragon. Yeah, we've been fighting a lot of dragons lately. It's not been great. <laughs> a very fantastical story. Uh, also, I would imagine with the brood being involved that dragons... You're lucky that you haven't found any hybrids yet. That's information that I didn't need. Well, we've... well you know that there are uh, adult and older dragons that can obviously shift into humans, uh, human form, but they don't really fight or control their powers as well in their human forms. There are hybrids that are much more powerful than even ancient dragons. Uh, they are pretty much the closest thing to what would actually be the godhood level of the brood that you've been seeing so far, I would imagine, with uh, Ojin. Ojin is actually the perfect example of a hybrid. We have come across a uh, what I assume to be an incredibly powerful dragon near the northern mountains. Yeah, it was that, uh, assistance. wasn't that a crystal dragon? Or yeah, that was, was a crystal. Dragon. You're talking about the Shrine of Bahamut? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's a crystal dragon currently. Yeah, there's an ancient crystal dragon guarding the relics of Bahamut over there. Ah. As sort of a favor to, uh, I think. I actually don't remember what brood that he owed a favor to, but he was saved as, as a youngling. Oh. Ah. He's a. Well, he, apparently he trusted us. A pretty cool dragon out of. So far, out of the dragons that's tried to kill us, and the one that hasn't, <clears throat> pretty cool guy. Yeah, he's pretty nice. I mean, very mellow. Uh, likes to try... He, he, he's definitely all bark, no bite, though. I mean, he's got the power to bite, but he he won't, unless you actually provoke him, so... Uh, why'd you visit him? Aether was there stealing sure. the wings that <laughs> bit Ben now has, I believe. Ah, Well, that does make me wonder why that dragon didn't bite then. Maybe he couldn't. I wonder what conditions were happening there. 
Well, it's Anyways. been a year since that happened, so we're not sure what's going on up there anymore. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> well, at least in that year, uh, you'll be happy to know that the Shadows Guild has been sort of back up and running, uh, and they've been able to start working the streets again. While that sounds so bad coming from my mouth when I say it, uh, it's more so there are balance where the castle watches for watches for outside dangers, the Shadows Guild uh, watches or tries to secure dangers from within. Hence why there was a Bone Devil in the guild's deepest level. But you did take care of that too, so... Yeah, that was... You know that that was kind of scary. That it was just, kind of scary too. It just painted a very funny mental image. Rogue hookers, the hand job you didn't even know you paid for. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I intended that to be said, but I don't imagine they don't have ladies on or even guys on the street that would do that for someone, I guess. I I don't know one way or the other. It was just funny. <laughs> So this is where we hit the touchy ground. I would like to continue our partnership, uh, and especially with trading of information. You've given me a lot to think on, especially as I go on any more ambassadorial trips. But uh, there is a slight problem of not necessarily power, because you are we, in general, are basically specs compared to Falu and Ryu in terms of their total power at this point in time, but it is obvious that Falu's and Ryu's goals do not align. <clears throat> so, I think for now we can still work just with the prospect that what we are doing doesn't interfere with either of their goals. Uh, especially since this Tipo person is an outside source to either of them. So I will say that we can still benefit from a fruitful partnership until our goals no longer align. Would you all agree to that? I would consider us a neutral party at the moment. I would consider that if you work for Falu, that you are by far more than a neutral party to him, whether you like it or not. I don't know if we've actively done anything to assist or detriment any party thus far. Plus, if you don't mind my Xavier's asking, what did he ask me as of a mission? By Ojin. Uh, so far, all he's asked us Wait. to do is get stronger. Xavier, you lost your powers? Temporarily. Oh, yeah. For about a week here. I got them back. Uh, oh, whether right. it was before or after that week year is a different story. I have no idea when exactly they returned, but... That, that was part of the reason that that conversation happened. That does put more light on why he stopped time for that. Well, sped up time? Timey uh, wimey, wimey shenanigan stuff with you guys? Timey wimey shenanigan stuff. I, but yeah, that one. I imagine that is... your reconnection to your powers was the reason for that year. Timey wimey. And so well, while you yeah. saw it as mere seconds of a conversation or minutes of a conversation to, to your being to reconnect to that power, it probably took the entirety of that year. What it sounds like at the moment, that being is just Ojin. Um. According to him. Well, considering most gods are uh, on permanent hiatus at the moment being reborn, I'd have to say probably. But at the same time, he could have just attached your power to something else altogether. He kind of gave me a choice on the matter. 
given that I, uh, per his view, was not living up to the standards of whichever god deigned me power in the first place. But I chose to try to better myself instead of changing my route. Does bettering yourself mean stopping your brother from fireballing your party? I haven't fireballed my party at all. Yet. <laughs> I think the intent is what's important here. She uh, only really to... gives a mischievous smile at that one. She wasn't yeah. really intending it to be a, uh, an actual blame. <laughs> but long yeah. as he's not fireballing innocence, Quince. Due like to... Hyenas. That we're doing nothing. Yeah, Due I was not a fan of that. The interaction with Ojin, I would consider us a neutral party at this point. Huh. That definitely brings a lot of things into question. Um. Well, I have a lot to delegate at this point now. Uh, you are more than welcome to help in. The investigation of this, as I am sure you are aware, Tipo definitely bears looking into. However, I don't know the first thing about where to look for that at the moment. So, uh, by all accounts, Ryu had said that his brother died in a fire when they were children. Which, his brother being Tipo, would have been who I thought died in the fire. But you're giving me a different story now, or at least Aether is giving us a different story. And even if he was crazed in his final moments, I still say it still bears worth investigating. And from, I from what we were able to gather, will, Aether was spending a lot of time in Endress, so that might be a place to look. Oh, uh, I wonder how long until the Dark King starts looking for him. Endress? It depends on if the Dark King saw the... Uh, sorry, Dark King. I think it's just his name. King Are you Dark. talking about King to Ark? <laughs> King to Ark. Yeah, yes. uh, Aether was meeting up with him. He was he was actually spending a lot of time in Endress as well. Yeah. yeah that, was, that was, from what we were able to gather, that was where he was returning to most of the time. Probably start missing him soon. Uh, and this device that Benyara was talking about sounds much like it was a device that came from Endress as well. Am I correct? Uh, that's what we were led to believe. It, the... Uh, Exchange happened because they were wanting to research it. On the note Wait. of Endress, we might want to be Wait. careful where we travel to using Fen's new powers because if King to Ark knows that he uses those and can see it happen, and he notices <laughs> that uh, Homie hasn't been back for a while, <clears throat> he might send people to investigate the last location it dashes to. Man, you probably just conjured nightmares for V as a as a player. <laughs> Do you I'm have a picture of uh, King Dark? Super worried about that. I do not have a picture of King Dark. No. Okay. Um. Well then. Not exactly the most handsome man to keep on the shelf. I mean, I'm lucky to have a picture of you, and she shows you. Uh, basically a handsome blue-haired man uh, wielding a, 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 a kind of largest broadsword and just modeling with it like he like he's a stud just like he knows he's he's hot shit <clears throat> and she chuckles at the picture and then returns the conversation back to you guys and goes but other than that uh, I'd have to say He's really old looking, but still carries himself with immense power. I'd say he might actually be able to match me in terms of power. That's, that's concerning. It's concerning, I unnecessarily find it surprising given what he is trying to uh, amass. True. <clears throat> Well, outside of that, Endress does seem like a good goal for investigation. However, we don't have any agents that can easily get in there. 
look at us, don't look at us, don't look at us, don't look at us, don't look at us. <laughs> I hear what you're saying, and I wouldn't recommend you guys to go in there either. Fen might be the only one that would be able to make it in and survive for any length of time, at least as a spy. Uh, as civilians, you are allowed in the city, but you would only be allowed within one specific district of district of Endress, and that's specifically the the district that is allowing for trade and civilians to actually uh, commute to. Don't Endress is a like... very segregated city with its sectors. Uh, Liz, this actually pops up a memory for you as well. Until you got to the portion of the city that was uh, specific to uh, the civilians and traders only, you were escorted the entire way, uh, which was pretty quick as it was just a like a portal device that brought you there. But someone basically had their arm or their hand on your shoulder throughout this, the entire trip until you were specifically in that quarters. And then you were... You always felt like you just had eyes on your back when you were in there, when you were in Endress and going through it to get to Arkenton as it was. <clears throat> and when you finally left the city, it felt like a huge weight was just lifted off of your chest. <clears throat> Not to mention, you got really creepy vibes from the guards. They're all pretty short, and they all... You, you never got the best look at their faces, but they they just look like they had a lot of similarities. And then Nina continues... I wouldn't recommend that you go to Endress with the hope of actually accumulating information. Most of that stuff is pretty tied up. Um, I'll have to see if I can find any contacts that can actually get you into Endress. You are definitely numero uno on the list to actually get in there for me, though. If you don't mind. to get in there safely and not have somebody looking over us the entire time that that is the hope uh, the best hope uh, is that from everything we know from our reports thus far that have successfully made it out of Endress is that we could make you assistance to someone of higher standing and that might be able to help you get by in Endress on a similar note, I would really appreciate having a way to get out, if necessary. Hmm. Yeah. That is something to definitely ponder as well. Yeah. I'm more concerned about that, that fact that that wasn't initially something to ponder in the first place. Well, if we're all together, we do have an emergency out with Ben now. That is true. There is that ripcord. <laughs> you do go visit to Black Pete at some point as well. Who? An Who? old friend of ours. N no, no, I recognize the name. I cannot place it at the moment. <laughs> old friend of y'all's. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, last I remember, oh, he was uh, <laughs> doing shrooms up near Tadri Ruff. Why do we have to go talk to him? It's on the to-do list. Oh. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, we also need to, if possible, catch up with uh, fucking Razim. We do you need to see him. Oh, hi, Nina. How are you doing? I'm it's been sorry. a while, Razim. <laughs> How you just... been? Oh, I'm, I'm doing good. Uh, what do the... you guys need? 
I'm fucking sorry. What? Just wondering how our investments were going. Oh, don't worry, Fen. He's something of an extra planar being. He kind of negates the rules of worlds. Wouldn't worry about it too much, Nina attempts to explain in a somewhat hopeless fashion. Interesting. Yeah, that just becomes white noise after about the second word of her talking. <laughs> <laughs> I like your funny words, Magic Man. <laughs> <laughs> ah, your investments, huh? Well, uh, let me check. Uh, Zeroji, you asked first. How much did you invest again? 20 PP. 20 PP. Or 200 gold, as it were. Well, your investment, and he uh, literally just sticks his hand through a random... You see his hand disappear, but you don't know what it disappeared into. That's probably fine. I'm not going to question it. <laughs> I gave this man a thousand, well, I guess a hundred platinum, so I'm not going to question anything he does. <laughs> he, and he goes, all right, I can give you back your PP right now, or I can continue collecting interest. Are you, which one would you like? I'm going to have it continue collecting interest, but what's it at currently? Oh, it's not at an, a set value that I can determine at this point. It's either I re I withdraw, or, and he he uh he brings his hand back out empty. I withdraw, or he bring he puts it back in. Uh, I just let it continue to keep uh, building up. Or you can deposit more, and potentially what it builds up into could be even better later. Rue. Uh, what if one were to ask to withdraw and then deposit more? Uh, well, that would reset my own internal counter for it, but yeah, you could do that. It was, it's only been... Huh. Well, for the time given for how much time I know has passed for you guys, for what you've been conscious of, hasn't been oh, that long. I see. Okay. It's been a year. That's not but if I go based off of the other... It really depends. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm going to add 24 gold. Or he only takes platinum. platinum. Yeah, that one. So for a total you add 24 four... platinum to it again? So yeah. you go from 20 to 44? Yeah. Okay. He takes it, plops it into the apparently nothingness, and he goes, and how about you, Fen? See, this is uh, where the... If I deposit, if I withdraw now, can I immediately make a deposit after? He still responds the same. I still need to know how much you deposited in the first place. One platinum. Just one platinum? Just one platinum, because I don't trust him. Hmm. Well, yeah, you can definitely withdraw now. I would like to withdraw my one platinum, or, well, what became of it. He withdraws uh, not only one platinum, but another item seems to be in his hand as well. And uh, he hands it to you, and you get another potion of healing. Interesting. Huh. This intrigues me. Okay. What happens if I... Hang on, do you take spell books as currency i do not damn he only takes platinum he was very clear about this the first time we saw him I'm trying to remember how much i put in i told you guys to write it down bump that up 
Uh, oh, I wrote down how much I put in. <laughs> I'm not throwing away that kind of money willy-nilly. I would... hand him 20 platinum in return to reinvest. And your counter is started anew. And he puts the 20 platinum into what seems like nothingness. Nina and Mina are both just kind of watching this with interested looks on their faces. Because to them, it's actually kind of a learning opportunity, it looks like. Because what he's doing is, while it seems like magic, it could be something more. Or it could actually just be magic, and they're trying to figure it out. That's cool. They do. They are. They are learners. So that makes sense. Uh, and Xavier, you'll be next. I'm gonna deposit another fifty platinum. Jesus. Adding on to your current tally. Oh my all right. God. Yeah. So I'm just gonna remove that from my. I just. I don't know why I have so much, and I haven't spent money on like hardly Must anything. Be nice. So all my money goes into spells. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Liz, do you know how much you had? Uh, I'm still looking. I I have to kind of go back on what uh, Zoroji was saying. Would you take a magical item as part of an investment? I cannot. Cannot. Okay. Was was he not clear about it? I thought he was. I, I'm, I might have just straight up missed the answer. I will more so say I will not. Only platinum, because that is the easiest thing to invest and accrue over time. It looks like it was, I think it was 10. I didn't write, write it out clearly. Yeah, so I just apparently just did not care about my money, because I dropped 100 the first time around. <laughs> well, you, you also just don't spend it. Yeah, I, pretty much. I'm constantly buying magic items. Uh, Zoroji's I'm... pissing it in the spells, and you're just sitting here with a horde. As like... long as I can eat at night, I mean, I'm fine. <laughs> what do I do I'm, with all I'm this money? I'm into magic items and crafting crap. Yeah. <laughs> There's one shop I might spend my money at, but not anymore because I don't have any. Right. And, uh, Liz, are you depositing more? Or are you taking out what you have, or are you leaving it be? Letting it grow more? Uh, let's let it ride. All right, ten platinum continuing to ride. We do still have that tome, if I recall. Oh, you're talking about the? Is this is this the one you're talking about with Nina? No, this was just among the party. Hmm. I don't know what Tome you're referring to. The Tome of Understanding. Oh, wasn't it like the that uh, Wisdom Tome or whatever? Uh, yes. I believe, well, I think it was Wisdom, yeah. There is... Yes. Gives you a plus two to your Wisdom score. And increases his total to 22. Also correct. The cap, I assume. Yeah. Normal cap is 20. Yes. He just said total. So I just wanted to make mm. sure. We have that if we want to do something with it. I can trade you for it. Nina pipes up behind the desk. That does sound interesting, because I don't think any of us really want wisdom, do we? Oh, we have a cleric in our midst that could really use it. And I just so happen to have a Tome of Intelligence that's up. Ooh. Well, that's not really called a Tome of Intelligence, but it raises your intelligence. So we use the Cap of Intelligence? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> <laughs> I, oh I think, god. I think both Zoroji and Liz's eyes light up at that. I, guess I mean, it's a, it's a, hold on, it's a tome for a tome here. 
I can't I can't just magically make another one of these. It took me literally a century to write this one. You guys have a fighting pit? Uh <laughs> looking between the two right now, Liz would win hands down. I know. I would love to see Soroji <laughs> try though. That would be hilarious. This this isn't about who's going to win. Speaking we know of, who's going to win. I just want to see it happen. For pleasure. <laughs> oh, my spells prepared for today are not combat oriented. <laughs> uh, like, I'm fine with trading it over. Um the only thing that's beneficial for me to have it is like a higher perception but even then i've got expertise in it uh so it falls a little short for me to use such a ridiculous item when we could have one of you to be well better overall for everything better. we do so i will hand over the tome of understanding Um, what is your in score used for V? Literally uh, everything he does. Yeah, attacks, saves. Int attacks. is the artificer thing, just like int is for uh, wizards. Yeah. It's my spell casting and my attack and all that junk. And isn't it based? I think there's something else that comes off of it too. It, it would increase flash of genius too because right now it's, it's probably a better f uh, it increases <laughs> my save dcs it does crew and increase your save dcs which save dcs yes the well the spell save dc so oh, any, the spell anything saves. Sorry. yeah any I was Anything... thinking his saves, not... Oh, well, saves it would increase his there. intelligence saving yeah, throw. Yeah, my but... saving throw would go up to 10, but that's not... But more so his... Uh... His spell save DC would go up. As well as my spell attack bonus. Yeah. So, oh my god, that would put your spell save DC at 19. Mm-hmm. And your spell attack bonus at 11. Holy shit. A lot of our enemies are going to get a lot more dexterous if you get that toe. I don't build enemies based on that. Fair enough. I know that in Gabe's campaign, he stopped giving us wooden structures because we set a fortress on fire. He set more than just a fortress on fire. <laughs> I'm assuming it was multiple fortresses. I don't remember. No, I like by the, the end of combat, the entire fortress is on fire, and so is the boat. And it's like, okay, like we did start with a plan. You, did you? You took forty minutes talking about shit, didn't do that, and then sprinted up the wall. I liked sprinting up walls with my cape. It was fun. <laughs> you didn't even follow the plan that you guys were talking about for forty minutes. I got bored. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Come up with a plan, discuss the plan, drop the plan. Everyone's business taken care of with Razim. He uh, kind of just fades away without you guys paying it any mind. That's probably fine. Yeah, I mean both of you would benefit from it so i don't think there's any bad choice here between us two getting it no like it y'all can if you want to do it fairly y'all can rock paper scissors for it or roll a die hmm. this was from the chocobo loot uh yeah i think
think that was from the Golden Chocobo, wasn't it? Yeah, I think what so. What else did we get from there? How did we divvy up the loot in there? Because I don't remember. That, we've, uh, I think everything else was already divvied. Because that was the, that was the big item. I think we got. There was only one big item. <laughs> we got money. Ah. That was like money in that, that tome, right? It w yeah, it was just money in that tome, and we've already divvied up the money. Yep, found it in my notes. Bunch of money and a, and a book. Yep. Well, she takes the tome from you guys and hands you the new tome. So now you have the new intelligence tome instead of the old wisdom tome. There are other tomes that give us resistances. You all, you already have the tome that gives you resistance. Yeah. Um, you can basically just... I think Beyond just lets you add resistance to the thing without needing to do anything special for it. You can. You have to go under Customize, but you can just add a resistance, which is what I did. Out of curiosity, uh, uh, can we have just in the resistances all... box under defenses? Yeah. Wait, what, Xavier? Uh, could we have just all chosen different resistances and just given one person all the books? They don't work that way. They're keyed to who opened the chest. Okay. <laughs> I, I like what you where your thought is. <laughs> that would uh, be ridiculous. To understand the principle of it basically what you had all just done is uh on the same power as wish just i have found a specific way to make it not fail interesting huh. that's useful Pierce. it is except for i can't use it myself and neither can most of the people in this college so you were more test subjects glad to know it works I feel like it's not the first time we've been test subjects for something like this. I don't think I, it'll be the last either. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you might have got lucky a couple times already. It's fine. I still have a couple potions left if you want to try them. Liz, uh, I think in this instance, you'll take this one, and then if we come across another book or something equivalent, I'll take that one. Okay. I think is how Zeroji would handle that. I mean, look at his have flaws that would say otherwise. If one comes up as Dex, descriptions. That's Dex just mine. <laughs> is useless to me. No one else, I think, wants that. I, no, nobody else wants it. I'm the only Dex character. And then I'm the only here. strength character. I guess I assume I'm the only strength character. Vincent yeah. People are trying to steal my secrets. Pursuit of knowledge is neither inherently good nor evil. Unlocking an ancient mystery is worth the price of a civilization. I'll always look out for my twin. No, nothing about being greedy about books. <laughs> I mean, you. Nah. I mean, my we want to know more about books, but like you can do it that same. way, or both of you could roll a d20 or something, and whoever has the highest. If y'all yeah, want to leave it up to it. RNG, or if you, if you feel that character character wise, that's what you would do. That's. That makes it. Yeah, because it would benefit either one of us. Yeah. Like, both of you are primary and both of your spell saves DCs are going to go up. Both of your spell attacks. Um, your saves, obviously. V, what are your who, flaws? Who knows? Maybe you can find Ocean again. Maybe he'll specifically put the Tome of Clear, of clear Thought through. Uh, time rift and send it a hundred hundred years into the future. We should hang on to the imp the book post use. That is good point. Because it takes what is it, a century mm -hmm. for it to regain its power. Mm -hmm. how things are going I'll probably be long dead before that can be used again
Some of us might be. I got plans. <clears throat> well, you are an elf. You, you, I'd be surprised if you didn't live longer than me. I already have. Yeah. You're getting here older. <laughs> All right, Grandpa. I don't know, Liz. You don't really seem to be aging anymore. Huh? What? Oh, that's so that's so sweet. What a compliment. You're welcome. But no, really, her aging seems to have just stopped. Wait, what? I wonder if that's something to do with her uh, temporarily found strength. It. Mm. No, that's another thing altogether. Her age just seems to have stopped. Uh -huh. I haven't identified the source yet. I've been trying this entire conversation. Is that just Liz or everybody? Just Liz. Mm. What did your mom put in that food? I don't think it was the food. Probably not. Could it maybe be this armor? Maybe. Isn't that just your artificer armor? Is it when you died? <laughs> you did die at one point. Sort of. <clears throat> By the way, that bear's looking into later if you want to know more about it. Uh, yeah, I, I feel... I think I should definitely look into that. For the moment, our business is concluded. Uh, I don't have any concrete proof to, or concrete means to get you into Endress, if that's where you want to go. Uh, and I am not sure of where the investigation could lead otherwise right now. So if you give me some time, I will send a page for you all uh, at some point in the future to collect you all and bring you back here. And we can proceed with further dealings to figure out a future plan for you guys. Sounds like a plan. I feel like we should probably go to Yeel and assist with some cleanup, given what happened there being because we were there. And <clears throat> pick up our chocobos. That too. I did have some thought into that. Oh? But I also... I... You know, reasons. Want to go to Riffel. Um, but the plan was also to go to Yeel to pick up the Chocobos. Hmm. I would say another target, two targets of inquiry would be the Magistrate and Beniaro. I feel like Beniaro would be the harder of the two. Uh, and the Magistrate, while on friendly terms, is still a vampire and still very powerful. So getting on unfriendly terms with him, even if you guys already are, could potentially be, be a bad thing as well. And it's not necessarily that their dealings would be bad, or their investigations, so to speak, just that that device that Benyaro traded to the magistrate bears questioning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait, actually, I fucked that all up. Uh, magistrates in Marwell, correct? Correct. Yes. Mm. Okay, I want to go to Larwell, not Riffel. Oh, right, because of the, uh, the the lady vampire? I don't know what you're talking about. Did I give her a name? Yes, you did. Do I remember her name? It's Trishala. Is it Trishala or Trishula? Uh, Trishula. Okay, I remember her name then. I know we talked about it, and then it immediately, like, left my memory again. I have that wrote in my notes. It's <laughs> in there. Uh... We go to Yield. And assist with cleanup.
then bring <clears> the chocobos <throat> back the next day or a couple days later. Depends on actually where we're gonna go from Yeel. Uh, as you guys are talking amongst yourselves, Mina actually interrupts the conversation now. You don't actually see Nina anywhere in sight, and she and Mina goes, "Hey, uh, so Nina left a while ago now. If you guys would also like to clear out, so I can have the office back to do some work, yeah, we can talk about this elsewhere." Okay. Sorry. Oops. Yeah, we can leave. <laughs> uh, quick note to you two, looking at the brothers. Your father probably wants to see you. Just reminding you that that is a thing that could happen. It has Ours. been a year. So just make sure that you give mm. him the heads up. Make sure everything's okay with him. And tell him I said hi. Sounds like well, something we can do before we leave for you. Yeah. Why don't we get you the two of you over to your dad so you can reunite? As a as a thing that was going to happen anyway. Well, he's already gone now. Do you have a headset on still? Nope, I heard him take him off. <sighs> Uh, oh, thing yeah. that was sort of planned and in the works, you guys have uh, quite a bit of free time now to do extra activities as uh, until something happens with this investigation. Unless you are specifically wanting to fast forward the investigation yourselves, you will have time to do a lot of the things that you were talking about uh, as well as some downtime to work on other things at this point in the game. And uh, if you know what they are, cool. If not, I'm going to call the game here anyways, and you guys can have some time to think it out. Uh, and if Will's game is not ready next Saturday, we can do my game then as well, or uh, we can continue my game in two weeks from now. Uh <laughs> I will have to update you um, if I'll be able to join for next week. Oh, I can't actually uh, do two weeks from now, so it's next week or not for me. <laughs> shit. Um, one of my friends wanted to start a Gravemire game, and the best day was Saturday, and I was like, yeah, Saturday works completely fine, as long as... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's the opposing Saturday to my already Saturday game, um, <laughs> but we haven't started anything on that yet, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, I might be back by the twenty eighth, but also I will have been flying, so I, I might not feel up to bothering with DMing after having been to a wedding. <laughs> That's fair. Fair, very fair. Uh. Okay, I am gonna divvy out some health potions. <clears throat> uh, main thing I do want any plans that you guys do have to just be like publicly talked about I don't really need to unless it's very specifically need to be kept secret uh fan <laughs> well okay yeah I'll DM you <laughs> uh the plans or things that you guys want to do I want it kept in the Veilhelm chat specifically more so that uh, because you guys are going to be keeping an open communication with each other during your downtime as well. Uh, like That way, when you guys do form as a group again, when the page comes and gets you to meet with Nina again, that is a thing that can just happen. <clears throat> uh, we, how much downtime do we have? Game's over for now. We have as much oh. downtime as it takes the page to come get you guys. What's the uh, estimate? Yeah. Are we talking like hours, days, weeks? It's probably going to be a couple weeks. Oh! I guess. We got, time we got to some make time. potions of healing. If you would like potions of healing, it will cost 30 gold apiece. I uh, just bought them for like... cheaper than that. Yeah, I just <laughs> bought them for... T uh, I, I actually have... I'm going to divvy out potions. That was while you were away. I oh. said that. Um, <laughs> I got them for 10 gold and... One... Wait, are these legitimate potions? Yes. <laughs> he rolled a he rolled over a twenty on his on his persuasion to haggle. 
I got a 23 on Persuasion to be like, hey, I'm a repeat customer. You should give me a deal. And they so, did. It was actually more of a huge deal than uh, the deal that he would have got for just the 23. Uh, both being the repeat customer, the person basically thought, hey, this guy really will just bring more business in. And then uh, on top of that, he rolled the 23. So technically, he got more off than he was supposed to for just the 23. Gotcha. Appreciate it. Uh, so I have six regular potions of healing, five regular potions of healing with spice that are just mine that I probably won't use. <laughs> uh, three superiors and two graders. And I, oh, ignore, nope, that's a superior poison. Sorry. I don't have any superiors. <laughs> Very different. That's... I have one potion of healing left after our combats. <laughs> I read that just as superior potion. I don't know why. And then I click it and it's vial of wy wyvern venom. And I'm like, hold on. That's superior poison. Nope. Uh, so... Since this came out of my pocket, um, I, I will I give okay. Zeroji a potion of healing if he gives me a or a uh, greater potion of healing if he gives me a hundred gold. You think that I just have this kind of money? <laughs> yes. I do not have that kind of money. Can Zeroji roll on the persuasion table against you? <laughs> Try. <laughs> I mean, he can make you roll something. I have a minus one to persuasion, so probably not. <laughs> or you might, more, today. you might, you might owe more than a hundred. You didn't roll your portents today. It is a new day. Let's see what my portents are. Nope. I mean, unless Those I force perfect. him to get the five and I take the seventeen. <laughs> Hey, how much money do you have, actually? I'm Currently, just gonna say a 16 is not bad on the roll. It's not. I have 428 gold, which is enough for me to add one more spell to my spell book. So really I'm running on spell book. fumes right now. <clears throat> I will. I will give you the greater potion of healing for a debt of 100 gold. I am not putting myself in debt to you. I'm <laughs> not stupid. I have a 20 int. All right, fine. I'm just going to keep it then. That uh, I was me. <laughs> Were you divvying out normal potions of healing? Yes, that that is also on the list. Uh those are only 10 gold. I can afford that. Oh, sorry. Did I say 10? I meant 12. I meant 12. <clears throat> I gotta make a profit somehow. Oh my I mean, gosh. At that <laughs> point... <laughs> have to. Look, if I have a potion of healing, it's mostly likely gonna be used up on one of you guys. <clears throat> He's got a point there. Yeah. That's your return on investment right there. <laughs> I only need money because I need the I supplies know, to you, make the potion. You did actually take some substantial damage in that last combat, finally. Get a little fucked up. <laughs> if I could roll any good dexterity save, apart from the one that absolutely mattered, I would have been much better off. But I but couldn't. Fen, Fen, you are also getting to the point where other saves are going to start coming into the mix even more now. Yeah, which is not great. Uh, okay, fine. I'll sell them at cost. Ten gold for healing. Forty post. gold each. What? <laughs> <laughs> I will sell them at the cost that I actually bought them at. I'll grab two of those, but that's gonna be used on you guys. 
64. So minus <clears throat> 20 gold. Okay. Potion of healing. Two I feel two. like there could have been a bigger reward. Uh, quote unquote bigger. It's really hard to top resistance as a reward. <laughs> it's hard to top resistance. Um, both Liz and Xavier have innate healing, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, Liz is a half caster, so she, so she can just prepare healing as it is. Yeah. Do either one of you have a healing potion? Xavier is like a quarter caster because a lot of his spells are actually smite slots, but he also has lay on hands. Yeah, lay on hands. So I've got false <laughs> life, but that only works. Hang on. While you're still alive. Yeah. <clears throat> no, it's just one of those that it, it would be good to have a potion just in case on everybody. So if Liz and Xavier doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, including the two I just bought off of you, I'm at three. I can uh, make more in the future, though. What did, what did you say, V? Uh, currently, Liz does not have any. Does not. Uh, I do want to mention... Uh, it is already cheaper for Zoroji to get the materials to make a potion by like 10 gold as it is. Uh, that can also be rolled against the persuasion table. Yeah, it is. Um, it cost me 20. Or it's half the cost of whatever they sell it for. So if they sell it for 40, it would cost 20 then. Correct. Oh, yeah, they sell it 20, and we could haggle <laughs> the ingredients so it might be even cheaper. Correct. Shame we don't have a ranger or druid. And I can produce one potion per day. For <clears throat> normal healing. Uh, Liz, would you like to purchase one potion for, for 10 gold? Yeah, sure, I guess. Okay. This also gives Liz enough time over six days to read the book as it is as well. Yep. Uh, Xavier, do you have any potions on you? Inventory, blah, 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 blah. Body skin, vestments. <clears throat> I don't think so. No. Do you, do you want a potion, just in case? Am I purchasing them? For 10 gold. No. <laughs> it... I'll keep my lay on hands. All right. I'm just trying to make back what I spent, all right? I understand. <laughs> if I ever have to pour one of your own potions from your bag into your mouth, I'll make sure to give you 10 gold when it happens. <laughs> it's okay. If I have to give you a potion while you're down, I'll take the 10 gold first. I see. <laughs> <laughs> What is this game going on right now? <laughs> Damn this rogue. <laughs> rogue doing rogue things. Rogue doing rogue things. Rogue like money. <clears throat> yeah, this during this could be crafting stuff during this downtime too. I'm just not sure what. Um... Yeah, let me know what you want to craft. Uh, oh. If Liz wants to be dropped off to Riffel to visit Liz's mom, she could be <clears throat> at some point. Yeah, it's something she could craft a sending stone and she could drop off one of them while she's there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've got my list. Uh, we can talk about more things with the ever burning eye. <laughs> <laughs>